Hello, everyone. Glad you could join us today. Today is a special, special day because he is risen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, Father God. Okay, today we have a great story for you. The story of Jesus. How he went through the Holy Week and how he came to the cross for our sins. So with that, Sister Audrey, will you open us in prayer? And yes, I can, Vivian. Father God, we just come right now thanking you, Lord, for waking us up today, for having a roof over our heads, for giving us food to eat, Lord, and for allowing us to just see your work being done, Lord, through through everybody that we know, Father God. And we just come asking that you open our hearts to this message, Lord, that Brother Sam will be giving us today, Lord, that our hearts will be good soil for the seed that you're going to plant in our hearts, Lord. And I, I pray, Father, that it may that it may grow, Lord, that it may grow into something beautiful in the hearts of these children, Lord. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, boys and girls, let's get on up. We're going to dance. We're going to get our wiggles out so that we can sit down and listen to the amazing story Brother Sam's going to give us today. Sandra, are you ready? Awesome. Let's get started. <laughs> Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. How you doing, kids? I'm so happy to be with you again today. I'm so glad. And we're going to continue telling the story of Jesus' great love for us. Now remember, Jesus was in heaven with his Father. And his Father saw that this world was so bad that they had to pay for the sins. We had to pay for the sins that we, that we all committed. And you know what he did? He was, he was going to remember the story of Noah. Well, he was going to do that again. But you know what? Jesus said, no, Father, I'll take their price. I'll go down to earth and I'll become human and I'll take the price for their sin because I love them so much. And that's what happened. Jesus lived on this earth for 33 years. And then it came to that day. When they didn't like that Jesus was saying he was the, the son of God, they hated that. 
the Pharisees and the Sadducees, they didn't like the fact that Jesus would say that he was the Son of God. Even though he did miracles. Even though he healed a man from being blind and helped a man that couldn't walk to walk and even brought Lazarus up from the dead. They still didn't believe that he was the Son of God. So you know what they did? They didn't like him. They hated him, I think, sometimes. Because they got him and they took him before the Roman government. And Pilate, he thought, well, all I have to do to Jesus is have him beat up and they're going to let him go. But no, that didn't happen. After they had him beat up, you know what the people cried out? Crucify him! Crucify him! Because they wanted him dead. They wanted Jesus died. But Jesus didn't say a word he knew what was going to happen Jesus knew the pain that he was going to go through and last week we learned that Jesus they beat him up they hit him in the face they spit him they kicked him they made fun of him they put that crown of th thorns on him but now we're going to happen we're going to learn what happened because the power of God is going to re be revealed even more so on today, 2,000 years ago, we're celebrating that 2,000 years ago, Jesus came, He rose from the dead. Do you know how hard that is? That nobody's ever done that all by Himself. Jesus did that. The power of God lifted Him up, and He conquered death. He beat death. And But before then, they brought Him, and they, He went to the cross. And I don't know, I'm sure if you can see that my little sample here, but there was Jesus in the middle, and there was two thieves that were there hanging with Jesus. And they, they had did crimes, they had did something that they were going to suffer and die for, but not Jesus. Just because he said he was the Son of God, that's why he was hanging. You know why? Because he loved you and he loved me. And Jesus hung on the cross, the Bible says, for six hours. But before he went to the cross, he had to carry his cross. And I thank the Lord that I was able to go to Israel one time, and I walked the street, the same street that Jesus went, the Via de Rosa. He walked that street. And they figured that the, the distance that Jesus walked was about maybe a third of a mile. You know what a third of a mile is, kids? That's almost five football fields. Have you ever seen the football field, how big it is? Well, Jesus had to walk almost five football fields with the cross. Why? Because he loved you and me. And they crucified Jesus. And he hung on the cross. And they made fun of him. Oh, if you truly are the Son of God, why don't you come off that cross? Why don't you ask God to come and help you get off that cross? You're his son. But Jesus didn't do nothing. You know what he said when he was on the cross? Father, forgive them. They, they don't know what they're doing. And he forgave them. Father God forgave them. And there was the two thieves right next to Jesus. And one of them said, If you truly are the Son of God, get us off of here. Get us off of here so we won't die. And the other one that was on the other side of him said, No. You and I, we deserve to be on this cross. But not this man. And he tells Jesus, Can you please remember me when you go into your kingdom? And Jesus tells him, This day you will be with me in paradise. That man that he lived a life of sin and he was did a lot of bad things that caused him to be crucified on the cross. In that second, in that little bit of time, God forgave him. Jesus forgave him. And he said that when you die, you're going to be with me in paradise. And you know what, kids? That's where he, it is for us today. Because Jesus died on the cross. And right now, kids, if you give me just like one minute, I want to talk to mommy and daddy. Mom, dad, I know sometimes life gets difficult. 
now with all the stuff that's going on in this world is it's not like what we knew before and times are hard and sometimes we just don't know what to do and life gets so difficult but mom dad I want you to know that Jesus knows your pain when that crown of thorns was put on his head that crown meant that he was going to defeat the pain that you were going to suffer in your life any kind of pain doesn't matter he he took that to the cross when they put that that crown of thorns on his head they thought they were making fun of him but Jesus knew exactly what that meant so whatever it can be maybe right now you and mom and and dad you're not getting along very well Jesus can take that care of that I've been times when I've had a hard time and I go before my my Jesus my Lord and I cry out to him and he makes things better sometimes right away but sometimes it takes a little bit longer but he does it if you trust in him mom and dad trust in Jesus and boys and girls you know what you can pray for mommy and daddy well anyway Jesus was on the cross and they took him off the cross and they took him and they got permission the Bible says that two men brought him off the cross and they took him into a tomb and but before they took him into a tomb they wrapped him on and this clothed in linen that was soaked in spices because after a while your body starts to decay and it starts to smell well they wrapped it so his body won't smell so one day went by two days went by and on the third day Mary and another lady came to the tomb and they were gonna put spices not on Jesus but around the tomb so that it won't smell because bodies smell when they die that's what they wanted to do and when they got there guess who they saw they saw an angel standing right by the throne and he asked him and he tells him he's not here Jesus is not here he has risen he has risen and today kids today we celebrate the day that Jesus rose that he got up from the grave nothing was wrong with them no bones were broken he could he was healthy he was God now he was God again he had become a human because he loved you and me he stooped down so that he could suffer for you and me took away all your pain but you know what this is the way that Jesus took the pain they didn't get like one bag and put all okay this bag right here represents all the sins of the world no that didn't happen what he did he took my pain he took your mommy's pain sin he took your daddy's pain your sis all individually all at once all at once everybody the past the future and the present he took all the sins all together all that weight was on Jesus and he suffered but he conquered it and he rose today today Jesus is alive he's alive today kids Wow that's why you and I if we get sick we can go to him that's why you and I if there's a problem we can go to him that's why you and I if we're hurt and somehow or if something's wrong or even because we just love Jesus so much we want to talk to him but you know what I know there's some that don't know Jesus they don't know what it is to have Jesus in their heart it could be a mommy a daddy a brother a sister an uncle a nephew and I'm gonna tell you right now the way to have Jesus in your heart is so simple the Bible says that if we confess our sins to him that's all we have to do confess our sins to him tell him Jesus I know I did wrong I don't want to do wrong anymore I want you to come into my heart I know that you are God you are the Savior of the world I know you died for my sins and I know that you rose again I believe that and that's why I want you in my heart 
And when you do that, kids, mom and dad, when you do that, the Bible calls that salvation. Salvation from what? Salvation that you don't have to go to the pit of hell. That you don't have to go to the place where Satan is going to be for all eternity. But you know where we get to go? We get to go to be with, in heaven with Jesus, with Father God, with the Holy Spirit, with all the angels and all the Christians that have died before us. Maybe your, your grandpa and your grandma. You get to see them again if they have Jesus in their hearts. And we're going to live there forever and ever and ever and ever. But first, you have to give your life to Jesus. So today, celebrate. Celebrate today that Jesus is alive. That He arose. That He conquered death. And because Jesus is alive, kids, you and I are alive. You and I are alive. And one day, we're going to see Jesus face to face. We're going to see Him and we're going to say, Hey, wait a minute. I look a little bit like you, Jesus. Yeah, my nose is just like your nose. Oh, my ears are just like your ears. Why? Because the Bible says that He made us in, in His image. This is the way we look. That's the way He looks. And we're going to see Him. So until then, kids, celebrate. Celebrate today that Jesus arose. Celebrate that Jesus loves you. And until we see each other, Oh, wait a minute. I got a special announcement. Because we're celebrating. This is what I'm going to ask you to do. Sister Audrey's a great dancer. She dances so good and she moves so good. But you know what? She would like some of you to join her. Some of you kids to join her. And you can dance right along her. Dancing for Jesus and praising Jesus. So if you want to be part of being in Sister Audrey's dance group. Why don't you contact us at arlitafirstassembly.org Arlita and help your mommy and daddy do that. They can find it really easy. And in that way, let us know. And also let us know this, that if somebody in your family or you gave your life to the Lord today, let us know so that we can send you some scriptures, so we can send you some, some help that you can read and help you learn more about walking with Jesus, living a life with Jesus. So, and also we invite you, come and join us here at our leader First Assembly. We want to see you. We have service for mom and dad, and we have children's church for you, and you're going to learn. You can, there's going to be crafts. There's going to be learning about Jesus just for kids, just for you. So come. So until, the, until then, kids, God bless you. We love you so much. So we'll see you. God bless you. Bye-bye.